Hi. I thought I'm making an update video for the LDA in general for life. So, as some of you might know, my name is Fritz. And uh, right now I'm in Budapest. And my life has changed quite a bit. Mostly internally. Externally, maybe not too much because I'm living this lifestyle now since five years. Um, yeah, but uh, well, I don't know where to start. So um, I guess I start in 2020 when I was participating in the LDA, in the first one. Um, yeah, because this class of course gave me like quite a bit of inspiration and um, yeah so let's see no script just freestyle there you go um, so I took the class took the courses I was living in Budapest and then around like June I I went to Vienna and then I went to Italy and then I went back to Germany um, and some of you might know I had like quite a challenging time there and I'm really grateful for your support and reminding me who I am and what I've done so far uh, because my family they pretty much attacked me all the time so I was really intense but I came out really like I was growing a lot there and um, yeah and then I was uh, participating like in a spiritual festival and connecting with people there and then I was moving into like a spiritual flat a spiritual community and then there I was like generating like new clients like a therapist and a festival host yeah, and with the therapist, and I made a special deal. Like the currency was like my design, one hour for like one hour therapy, in the Gestalt therapy, which was amazing. And then I discovered, oh, he's doing MDMA therapy, which was my big goal. So we made a special deal. The final, uh, how do you say, stage of the therapy would be MDMA therapy. And it happened. It worked, and it was really, really amazing. And, uh, took many insights of it, out of it, and, uh, and learned a lot, and could let go of a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, and I was growing in my design business, and graphic design, web design, and um, yeah, and then with the uh, uh, event host, I was doing logo work, logo design work, web, web, web design work. And um, yeah, and from there I went to an event, like kind of like a startup event. And I met a cool guy, eco fashion designer from Berlin, and we had a good connection. And because I was always looking for like comfortable clothes, which looked cool. And I couldn't find them really in H&M and Zara and all those funny clothing stores. So um, yeah, and with him I did like another design project and the packaging design and stuff and uh, yeah and he was connecting me to another company in Germany like a food company vegan well we can say snacks cakes cupcakes cookies brownies everything uh, and this was last year so and I made like really cool design or designs for them designs and uh, yeah So and in the meantime, I was meditating a little bit, maybe a little bit more, and a lot of breath work, and um, yeah, it's interesting, like some years ago, I, I could have never recorded this video, like, let's say, in public, but now it's really easy, and uh, yeah, 
because no one gives a fuck. So if you feel like it, just record a video everywhere. Um, yeah, and then what's next? What's next? Um, yeah, and after, or well, when I was in the process of designing the, the logo, logo and packaging for the company, mm, yeah, like my aunt died and my uncle died, and uh, this was a really uh, complicated time in my life. And the LDA helped me a lot with this and other friends. So, yeah. And then at one point I joined a growth house in Lisbon from like created from here from this LDA group and uh, yeah ex it were, there were certain aspects which were like really 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 great and some aspects in hindsight really great as well because I learned a lot and like to set boundaries and uh, express my opinion and stuff and how to join or create growth house in the future for me and um, yeah and like on this um, circumstances like in this growth house stuff um, which I'm really grateful for I met my girlfriend in a, on a growth house party and uh, as James would say we had like really like delicious chips and dips good lighting good atmosphere and uh, yeah, and uh, it went really easy, or really, or really smooth, and uh, did some Reiki with her on the party, and uh, had a really good connection, and then went really quickly, and um, yeah, we came together like really quickly, and yeah, kind of like actually moved together quite quickly in Lisbon, or renting out Airbnbs together, renting Airbnbs together. And uh, yeah, at one point we went to to the Portuguese coast up north in Peniche Ferreira, which was really, really, really cool. And uh, yeah, and then during this time, which is the last seven months now, um, I had like major, major, major releases, like crying, screaming, uh, shaking, shivering, tremoring solving like immense sexual blockages from my past kind of like religious backgrounds and stuff so that was really interesting and um, and she helped me a lot because she's really into anal play I'm really into anal play like both ways with her so and uh, and um, yeah so I, she opened me up or well, we opened up each other like <laughs> a lot and um, yeah it was really really great but like since November I, I stopped working for design projects because I really took a deep dive in, into myself into my soul and uh, yeah and then like slowly slowly I was running out of money which was one of my or well, maybe the most biggest the, the biggest fear running out of money and uh, becoming homeless and stuff and uh, well from my old self from my character from my inner child from my pattern and then yeah and then we moved to my girlfriend and me we went to Paris in a really small flat studio, studio flat and um, yeah, and then like it became problematic because it was too small. I was in a huge process. <coughs> She's in a huge process. So, um, yeah. And then at one point, like some weeks ago, I went to Budapest already. I did a cool week, like intense in our work. And came back to Paris. And then we went to Germany because of the funny inheritance case with my brother. I had a big fight with my brother. Uh, well, kind of, kind of big fight, and but I was like, um, my inner child was speaking was really important, and it doesn't have to do it again. But like one time was necessary. Basically, was saying to my brother like, okay, your tyranny is over. Uh, you tyrannized our dad, me, the children, 
and so on and uh, it's done i'm done with you just want to finish the inheritance stuff and then uh yeah goodbye and um and i was suggesting before on whatsapp like to he could buy my half he didn't took me seriously didn't even give me an answer and then like when i was there for the first time he really took me serious and said like, okay so how much do you want and then the details and uh, yeah so that's that and now i have like some kind of uh, fan group or something maybe from the train who knows and um yeah so that was really important and then i said a bit there and i went to paris back and uh, things went differently i was expecting and um, yeah and my fear of like becoming homeless became like really really intense but anyway because i understand it was there all the time the intensity and uh, now it's coming up to the surface and uh, yeah I mean, quite a while i was like oh fuck i want to stay with my girlfriend because it's more, it's more cheap and stuff i mean i love her of course but like there was a big fear in me like oh no i cannot afford my own place it wasn't this it was a huge process and at one point I was like, fuck it, yeah, just like, what's the point? Like, I have to step into my ultimate power, basically. So, and then I went to good old Budapest, where I was living two years, three years, which gave me a lot and still gives me a lot. And it will ever, will for always, give me a lot. So, um, yeah, and then I was re arriving here, some projects design projects and had some ideas for lifestyle design projects and giving classes and uh, daily experiences with Fritz about like meditation, breath work, uh, becoming socially more free, uh, photography, making good pictures, cool pictures of people, uh, approaching people and uh, yeah so those were really really big plans. And the really cool thing is, I was doing a shout out on Instagram stories and on Facebook. Because like my, my, my story, my uh, pattern was really loud, like oh, I'm homeless running out of money and I'm like this and this and this. My parents brother will judge me and blah blah. And, uh, and I did like a post or a story. And uh, some people reached out to me and said like, yeah Fritz, no problem. Like, uh, you can come to me and then figure things out from there so that's i'm going next week on tuesday to italy to bologna and uh yeah spend some time there and yeah figure out things from there um, and let's see if i cash out a little bit on crypto which i'm assistant to it so uh, yeah and then some other people offered me help so and I didn't even reach all the people I know, so... And I already, like, have a lot of... And people, like, even offered me money, like, to... Like, <laughs> to give me money for free, and then I could stay in some cities, Airbnbs, and... And I had a big, like, cry out, and uh, released everything. Not everything, but a lot of stuff. And... Um, yeah, I know some people joined and they are um, feeling some nerves is coming up, which is really cool because then my inner child can learn like that the kids can trust me more. And um, yeah, and every day I have releases and crying, shaking, and uh, doing breath work. And today I uh, gave like a guy from England like a meditation reflex experience teaching him and that was really cool and then i had the most intense experience for a short breath work in my life because i was like beaming myself somewhere else with breathing which was really cool um, yeah and so so i would say it's going pretty well sometimes the fears are climbing up on me and uh, 
convincing me a little bit still that it's the truth. But then I remember like quite quickly it's not the truth. And yeah, and I realized what I what I uh, what I was achieving in the last years, especially the last five years. It's incredible, and I have so many talents and so many things to offer, and I really want to really want to offer stuff and uh, help people and uh, generate some income from there, and then donate money to homeless shelters. It's one of my ideas to. to I'm really active, like in, in poverty uh, business, not business, but poverty area, and uh, and uh, yeah, and make change and, and give back, let the money flow, like earn, spend, enjoy life, give back to people, give back to the world, and uh, raise the fre raise the frequency, raise the vibe. Um, in myself, other people, do my design business, which uh, well, income is expected like in July, August, but until then, let's say it's interesting, and then the inher inheritance is waiting for me, but I don't know when it's coming, the money from my brother. So, so right now I'm like in like a, in a hole. No, what do you say? How do you say loophole or in like in a, in a valley? And, uh, but I'm becoming more and more calm and more and more yeah, calm with the situation with myself and in life in general. So that's really cool. And um, yeah, and uh, I'm curious about like the people from, from LDA number three because uh, I didn't I didn't uh, join the, the channel for quite a while. So let's see, who are you, uh, what are you up to, and uh, yeah, so two more days in, uh, one more day, one and a half in Budapest, and then in Bologna, and then let's see, maybe back to Budapest, or Paris, or Germany, or Prague, or Berlin. And uh, for you. or I don't know other cities, and then generating ideas, posting them in, in, in social media and Instagram, and uh, yeah, it's a really interesting time. grateful for you guys and I'm grateful for James and I'm grateful for what I achieved in my life and I'm proud of my inner child I love you and, and I'm curious and excited about like, what's coming next because I really understood like nothing really can happen to me like because the universe got my, got my back and it's a really cool, cool network and I could, I could anytime go to, to Vienna or to Bologna or to uh, or to or to Romania or to Maybe to Poland or other places I, I don't know right now, Germany even. Because uh, before I always thought, like, or my also thought, like, oh, the only parachute would be like my family, which would be at the same time, like, uh, which would feel like incredibly restrictive. wouldn't feel right at all so yeah and I'm really stepping now into my true power into my true energy um, 
yeah, so I'm wishing you the best of luck and that your dreams come true and all your goals and stuff and, uh, and your missions and your lifestyle design stuff and in your career with the girls, with, uh, with your family. It's a, it's a great time to grow, so don't don't uh, don't forget to grow. Just you can be brave and you can be like uh, do stuff you are afraid of, especially stuff you are afraid of because the most there's the most growth. And um, yeah, and the biggest form of security is yourself. And if you really understand this, then uh, for example, money abundance will just come because you were the one who, who created all your money in your life even if it's someone gave you money you're worth it of money right so and, uh, and you are like the biggest currency in your life and, um, and there's only one of you and if you really understand this that there's only one of you then it's like you are irre irreplaceable And then people will notice like, oh, wow, there's something about him or about her, right? Oh, that's, wow, what is this? What is he doing? Or what is, um, I want to know more, right? So, of course. And then you can do what you want if you are into sports or nutrition or design or music or finance or crypto or movement or combination of it. And then it becomes a game just like having fun and enjoying and that's the point of life because otherwise why, why would you be here and you are worthy of, of most of foremost of living and having fun because and you are enough because otherwise you wouldn't be here right so yeah I will I will do a lot more stuff in the next time it's like the transformation period this one at least coming kind of to an I will of course continue forever like with like inner work and stuff but like the one of the major parts for now is the, the period is finished so and I don't really give a fuck anymore like what people think or what they what they what they, what they say or what they do or, Because, because why should you? It's, it's your life. It's, your, it's what, what you want, what your heart wants, what your soul wants to do. Why don't you do it? Because of other people, because of your parents who grew up in a different, uh, what's the name, like decade or in another, in another, many years ago, in another age, in a totally different mindset and Please, please, please make yourself free. And you, and you, you can do it. You have the power. Like otherwise, you wouldn't be here. And you, you were born free, and then somehow you were like, here, and you were, and you were, and at one point you forgot because of the conditioning and the funny parents and teachers and stuff. And, and it's like it's crazy like what i noticed like how little children how they get in condition by the parents and and they don't even their parents they for them it's normal they don't well it's patterns it's ego or it's like they don't know so they don't do the inner work but, but i can see it and then and if it's the case for you that you feel like stuck or un, not free or 
you want to talk to girls or you want to talk to people or you want to dance on the street or you want to play music or you want to shoot a movie or you want to have a good time or you want to be free on a party or whatever you can that, that's that's your birth right that's your, your birth condition so If you need to start meditating, do breath work, do travel if possible, uh, it's possible. Um, go to seminars. Don't forget to have just fun and be silly and be playful, be a child. Become the biggest version of yourself and help other people. And that's why you are here. And. Uh, and if you wanna, it's getting a rant, it's amazing. Yeah. And if you, and if you wanna know, know how you find your purpose, just follow the, follow your excitements step by step. And if you don't, you like, oh, I don't know what to do. Photography, dancing, cooking, politics, banking, whatever. And you are stuck. Just follow your excitements, and there can little, little can be little, little excitements. Okay, do I want to take a nap? Or do I want to go for a walk? And then the thing which is like a little bit more exciting, do it. And then from there, the next thing. So now it's like, it's like a flow. Like the next thing is like, do I want, want, want to watch a movie or do I want to eat something? Do I want to hit the streets and talk to girls or do I want to go to a wellness spa and uh, have a really great time? And then the more you follow this excitement, the excitement is getting bigger and bigger. You trust yourself, you follow your intuition, you follow your inner compass. And, uh, and then suddenly you find your... Uh, Lizard, cool. uh, you find your, your purpose, whatever this is, and this can change during the uh, during the years, during your life. So, and then maybe you combine something, maybe you do only one, then you change to something totally different. But like the experience you will gain, everywhere, everything you never can fail. Like if you if you try something and you realize, oh, it's not for you. You met so many new people, many great experiences, sis, 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 sis. And, uh, and take this experience with you, and then in your next trying things. And then you have great LDA members and a great network, and make use of it and ask questions. Be honest with yourself and post shit you would normally not post to give other people the, the courage and the allowance so they step out of their shell and um, yeah, kind of like being service of, of the people of society of humanity or of yourself most and foremost and, yeah. and this is what I'm doing and trying to do every day more and more and I reached a lot and even more so in the future and I can't wait and still of course I feel fear it's normal and it's allowed to be there and it saved you the fear saved you from many things in your childhood because you had to survive in your family system and follow the rules of the system otherwise you wouldn't have got like food, a shelter, or a nice bedroom, or whatever, so it was conditional, and you can realize you're the unconditional love, and with your being, you may realize other people their unconditional love, so, um, yeah, that's like around 30 minutes, and that's, that's an excellent time to finish the video. And the sun is going down. It's great. So next day it will rise again. 
and uh, yeah, maybe see you see you somewhere soon in the world. And I would love to connect to you and reconnect to other people who which I already know. So that's great. Uh, so I would say have a good one and see you.